Nine out of ten crystal skulls agree. Click like and subscribe to the Heavy Underground. Ooh, that one skull, let me tell you. Founded by heavy metal luminaries Metallica in February of 2017, the All Within My Hands Foundation has dedicated its resources to helping local communities throughout the nation. Through local food bank assistance on every stop on the band's current tour and in a recently announced initiative, Education Grants to support community college programs across the nation, the All Within My Hands Foundation has continued to grow admirably in its mission and scope in the two years since the official announcement. In celebration of the Foundation's first full year of practical operations, Metallica announced a special concert and auction to mark this momentous milestone on November 3, 2018. Set within the visually sumptuous confines of the Masonic Auditorium atop San Francisco's Knob Hill, the first ever Helping Hands concert and auction boasts an impressive selection of one-of-a-kind collectibles and unique experiences up for bid, in addition to special acoustic performances from both Metallica and the band's special guest for the night, Cage the Elephant. In conjunction with CrowdRise, an online fundraising portal for charitable endeavors, Metallica has raised tens of thousands of dollars for local food banks on every stop of the band's current worldwide tour. In a special contest, CrowdRise offered a pair of third row couch seats for the Helping Hands concert and auction. Entering the contest with little thought of actually winning, an unexpected email announcing a grand prize win interrupted a mid-November night with a flurry of questions. Was this real or some elaborate phishing scam? If it was real, how quick could a trip to San Francisco be arranged? And most importantly, what will Metallica play at the first anniversary concert and auction to benefit their All Within My Hands charity? Winning two tickets from CrowdRise seemed an extremely remote possibility upon entering the contest, but that very same low probability made it very easy to enter with minimal thought given to actually winning. Attendance was never really in question though, as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness the legendary Metallica from a third-row couch seat at the band's own acoustic charity event would not be squandered. Held at the picturesque Masonic Auditorium atop San Francisco's Knob Hill on November 3, 2018, the 3,500-seat venue allowed for an ornate and intimate setting for the night's event. The performance was held in conjunction with an online silent auction. A number of items and experiences were up for grabs, with all of the proceedings going to help community colleges and food banks nationwide. Signed instruments from the night's performance, exclusive prints from noted rock photographer Ross Halfen, even a personal skating lesson from Tony Hawk were among the unique items and experiences up for bid. Access to the pre-show VIP lounge featured the band's own beer, Enter Night Pilsner from Stone Brewing, and another new venture, Blackened Whiskey. Other alcoholic selections were available, but the availability of these still regionally limited options was indulged. Local vendors provided a selection of foods ranging from vegan to carnivore, and the whole atmosphere was relaxed and celebratory. A video presentation highlights the incredible work accomplished over the past year by All Within My Hands in support of local food banks and now community colleges. The dedicated and fervent turnout for the night's event is on full display as the crowd shows its support with some healthy bidding on the available auction items as well as a loud and vociferous audience response throughout the night. Transitioning between video and fucking rock and roll with comedy, comedian Kurt Braunohler introduces Kentucky Spawn modern rock band Cage the Elephant after cracking wise about San Francisco, Sirius, and Scooters. Two word takeaway from Kurt's brief set Fuck Buffet. With a declared fan in Lars Ulrich and a history with the band dating back to Cage playing the Orion Music and More Festival in 2012, Cage the Elephant have been tasked on this night with the unenviable permission of opening for Metallica. Accompanied by a group of string musicians, Cage the Elephant take to the Masonic stage to open the concert. Having played a stripped down and acoustic tour in 2017 with an accompanying live album titled Unpeeled, Cage the Elephant have called upon these backing musicians to accompany them once again as the band's melodious modern rock plays to an exuberant and welcoming audience. 
Slowly building to a foot stomping groove, Trouble drives from the stage with a pulsing drive. Violin sweetens the song with a lithe breeze on this track from the band's most recent studio album. Dealt with a sense of swagger, Cage the Elephant powers through their debut album monster hit, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, next. Eliciting the biggest pop from the crowd, the chorus has the Masonic crowd loudly singing along. Pounding drums and a light guitar scrape open the next song, Punching Bag. A forceful sonic statement, Punching Bag from Tell Me I'm Pretty, focuses the band's determination with a strident and determined pop before the set switches gears. Indulging in some self-flagellation for the setless selection, Matt cracks wise before the band softly works into 2011's Rubber Ball. A soft and delicate sound slowly waltzes through the room on this dreamy and wistful song. Switching gears again, an unsettled vibe permeates the following song. On Cold, Cold, Cold from Tell Me I'm Pretty, Matt seems to exhibit a trace of Mick Jagger-esque sneer in his vocal work as the band powers through this number. Keeping the party rolling, come a little closer, paces from the stage. An understated yet persistent rhythm gives way to sweeping runs on this sadly pensive number from 2013's Melophobia. Another standout moment that highlights the transfixing contribution of the string quartet accompanying the band. Cigarette Daydreams chimes from the stage next as the band near the end of their set, featuring a gorgeous interplay between the strings and acoustic guitar and Matt's vocals, Cigarette Daydream aims for sweet nostalgia and hits it on the mark. As the band makes its way off stage, Matt Schultz and pianist Methan Minster stay behind for one last song. Picking up an acoustic guitar, Matt introduces the final song, Stage Ninja. Most likely set for release on the band's upcoming album, Stage Ninja works a gentle magic throughout the room. With only Methan on piano and backing vocal, Stage Ninja ends Cage the Elephant's set on a personal and intimate note. A lightly bittersweet set from Cage the Elephant sets the tone for a soul-bearing night of acoustic shenanigans. A slyly up-tempo pace adds an urgency to Cage the Elephant's performance as they draw on each of the band's four albums to weave a sinewy tale across twelve delicately etheric songs. Spiderhead swings humbly from the stage and Too Late to Say Goodbye hits with unrequited melancholy. 2015's Trouble soars a little sweeter with the addition of violin and the power of punching bag is undeniable. All this before the crowd pleasing Ain't No Rest for the Wicked has the crowd screaming along. Rubber Ball and Come a Little Closer punctuate the set's second half before an intimate run-through of a new song called Stage Ninja rounds out a subversively exuberant 12-song set on a solitary note. Witnessing the mighty Metallica is always a reason for celebration. However, witnessing them in their adopted hometown of San Francisco for a rare acoustic performance Grateful and deeply thankful for the welcoming crowd response, Cage the Elephant take the stage. Lead vocalist Matt Schultz opens the show vamping for time due to the absence of his brother, guitarist Brad Schultz. While Matt addresses the crowd, biological brother Brad retrieves his in-ear headphone monitors from downstairs, and before long, Spiderhead springs from the stage. Highlighted by a breezy falsetto and the band's swinging gait, this 2013 track sets the tone for a loose and energetic performance from Cage the Elephant. Next, Too Late to Say Goodbye from 2015's Tell Me I'm Pretty slips loose from the band. In an earnest performance, Too Late to Say Goodbye is tinged with a foreboding sense of melancholy which highlights this plaintive song. Next, Shake Me Down rises from the band's 2011 release Thank You, Happy Birthday. With delicate melodic sensibilities ebbing and flowing throughout the song, before building to a light-hearted crescendo that unwinds to the song's end. A delicate motion travels through the band's next song, Telescope. Drawing from the band's 2013 release, Melophobia, Telescope's vocals carry a stridency that adds a level of urgency pushing the song from start to its final moments. Witnessing the mighty Metallica is always a reason for celebration. However, witnessing them in their adopted hometown of San Francisco for a rare acoustic performance that also happens to be the inaugural celebration for the band's All Within My Hands Foundation is a truly special occasion. As the crew sets up, a number of extra instruments are sound checked and prepared for deployment. Keyboards, a percussion rig, 
a mandolin, and what most definitely appears to be a pedal steel guitar are set to provide accompaniment on this momentous night. Joined by David Phillips on the pedal steel, Henry Salvia on a two-tier keyboard setup, Cody Rhodes, not that Cody Rhodes, on a percussion rig, and Avi Venocure adding mandolin and extra guitar flavor, Metallica had primed the pump for a remarkable night of music. Sly and devious intent lurks behind the shuffling pace of disposable heroes to begin Metallica's set, harassing the crowd with a circling acoustic riff attack that overwhelms the Masonic atmosphere to enveloping effect. Shades of sound from Henry Salvia's keyboard fill the edges to great effect as the underlying performance swells with creeping intent. Menacing vocals from James usher in the final moments of this claustrophobic and overwhelming run-through of disposable heroes. Maybe it is Avi Vinokur's mandolin chiming throughout, but Disposable Heroes rings like an apocalyptic battle of Evermore. After profusely thanking the crowd for showing up, James recounts a conversation with his brother before the show began, sharing an intimate moment with the audience before introducing the second song. Choosing a song from Deep Purple, Lars ushers in a slow and somber eight count to open when a blind man cries a deep cut from this highly influential band, weaving its sad tale when a blind man cries slowly weeps from the stage. Nimble fretwork from Kirk leaps from the speakers as David Phillips' pedal steel provides an undercurrent of pity throughout the song. Jokes about bass and being a singer follow in a loose and congenial manner between the band before settling into the next song. Always starting on the eight count, James proffers a Metallica song to rapturous crowd approval. Reaching back to 1991, the Unforgiven climbs from the stage with its forlorn, forlorn notes echoing throughout the Masonic. Rob's bass guitar bouncing in and out of Lars's forceful drum hits, this acoustic rendition deviates little from the electrified original, however the earnest and forceful use of acoustic instruments creates an almost upbeat take on the Unforgiven. The backing musicians providing an outstanding accompaniment to the band on this exquisitely appointed run-through of this Black Album classic. Still working through some monitor issues, the band moves ahead with another outstanding cover from the Metallic Cat repertoire. A slow and low rumble heralds the beginning of Nazareth's Please Don't Judas Me. A pattern begins to emerge in the structure of the set with a heavy rotation of songs dealing with the world-weary and downtrodden. Making this 1975 cover their own, Please Don't Judas Me represent Metallica at their outlaw acoustic best. With David Phillips' pedal steel stepping in to provide just the right solemn accent on this soul-rending number. Introducing the gentleman backing the band, James offers effusive praise for their talents and time before turning to the next song. Making a fitting addition to the set list, the long-running and road-tested Turn the Page solidifies the night as a cover-heavy set. As this Bob Seger classic pours from the stage, Metallica and their assembled friends settle into a simmering groove. Jokes about couches and hard stools follow this Bob Seger staple before a haunting detour through 1996's Bleeding Me. The unfairly maligned St. Anger next gets some love with the charity's namesake song, all within my hands. More well-placed, pedal steel accentuates the night's version of this underestimated 2003 track, and a sinister vibe pervades this gloriously reinterpreted rendition. As the song progresses, Henry Salvia's organ accompaniment adds an air of 70s rock extravagance to offset the darkened lyrical domination of All Within My Hands. An extremely extended eight count opens a slow and creeping Enter Sandman, Forgoing the song's iconic introductory build, an insidiously underhanded Sandman slithers from the stage. Actually hearing James speak the prayer section of the song was well worth the cross-country airfare alone. Crawling to a strident gait in the song's final moments before closing with a no-quarter-esque flourish, a ghostly interpretation of this shop-worn classic breathes new life into Enter Sandman. A deeply back-pocket Four Horsemen Lines up next, with a shuffling blues wind-up, this apocalyptic rallying cry begins a mid-paced trot from the stage. A gritty growl inflects James's voice on an abridged run-through of this Kill'em-All classic. Slide work from Kirk flavors the song, 
as Rob's pleasantly elastic base work bubbles underneath. Drawing to an all too short ending, the Four Horsemen seeds the stage to a pulsing and insistent rip through hard wire to bookend the set. Taking another bite at this awkwardly acoustic apple, the boys hurriedly power through this song from their latest album. Traces of pedal steel and keyboards still arise from the quick paced acoustic brutality to fill out the ranks in measured swells. Spitting lyrics and riffs at a rabid clip, Hardwired injects an unhinged dose of energy on the final song of the night. Closing the show with such an energetic barn burner leaves the crowd clamoring for more as Metallica's first ever All Within My Hands Helping Hands Concert and Auction roars to an end. Joined on this special night by modern rock standouts Cage the Elephant, Metallica never ceased to amaze with their next level community engagement. In conjunction with the online fundraising entity CrowdRise, the band has made donations to local food banks on every stop of their current tour and endeavor through their All Within My Hands charity to improve the world in which they live and perform. Gathered in San Francisco, California on November 3rd, 2018, the first ever Helping Hands concert and auction provides a clear testament to the band's amazing work. The goodwill built and deployed by the band is on full display tonight as the city of San Francisco turns out to celebrate the altruistic intentions of the almighty Metallica and their mission to uplift the world. Luxuriating in the outstanding confines of the Masonic Auditorium, the night's festivities never cease to amaze. From the well-appointed VIP lounge to the one-of-a-kind auction and the venue's intimate setting, a relaxed and affable atmosphere permeated the night. Emceed by comedian Kurt Braunohler, some of the first-year accomplishments of the Foundation are deservedly lauded in a pre-show presentation. An energetic and emotive set from Cage the Elephant follows before the band of the hour takes the stage. With haunting pedal steel and permeating keyboards making a gorgeous intrusion into every song, the backing musicians joining Metallica make an indelible mark from the outset. A set list dominated by sorrowful songs about the downtrodden takes full advantage of the melancholy accompaniment provided by the talented backing musicians. Drawing heavily from the vast Metallicats catalog, a set bursting with cover songs, a few deep cuts and some reimagined classics, finds itself forever embedded within the Masonic's ornate interstices. Deep Purple's When a Blind Man Cries, Nazareth's Please Don't Judas Me, and Blue Oyster Cult's Veteran of the Psychic Wars join the band and Bob Seger's longtime road and world weary staple turn the page to dominate the early, cover heavy portion of the set, before a domineering run through of All Within My Hands gives some much deserved respect to the standout song from St. Anger, and a simmering blues bass shuffle inflects the Four Horsemen to command attention in the final third of the show. Saturnine and reflective treks through Bleeding Me and Ender Sandman run counter to the forceful and frenetic bookends of Disposable Heroes and Hardwired that open and close the show. While the Unforgiven and Nothing Else Matters luxuriate in the lush instrumentation provided by the backing musicians joining Metallica on stage. An outstanding night for an amazing cause, the inaugural Helping Hands concert and auction finds Metallica weaving an indelible tale of hardship and woe through evocative song selection and holds the audience in rapt attention with the nuanced and poignant arrangements on display. From a few sonic surprises punctuating the set to the band's most well-known classics, every song gleams a little brighter during the night's unique and unforgettable performance. A joyous crowd, the ornately resplendent environs, a buoyant performance from Cage the Elephant, and Metallica's commanding presence unite to assure a pitch and picture-perfect night to celebrate the first anniversary of Metallica's All Within My Hands Foundation.